All right, we'll just jump right in here. So on the right hand side, we have which is our eight second snippet, which we've extracted out here. And then the later snippet, we end this way. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 41 Open. In today's episode, which actually covers two separate streams, we re-entered by reflecting that things grow at their own pace, hence our theme patience, except then we made our theme be open, so we've sort of been evolving here. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of thoughts, but the key thing is that we realized that our our new kind of master meme theme for what we're doing in this series is to explore nuances and extensions of sound plus vision plus lyric. So we had quite a few results. We updated our goal, as we just said. Uh, we continued our Between the Lines composition, which we're going to show you more of. Uh, we completed our video. We were spending a lot of time on this video. It's rendered and posted. And the nuances here were to add a caption line, a slide line, coordinated with the video and the sound. Uh, but we, we ended up doing some interesting things, we felt, by uh, alternating between slides and, and captions. For example, here we have a slide interesting. in the middle, About and the caption models. says, Luca Grabacher Metaverse. And then, Let's go. and then over here, yes, using my yes-no questions, we've tested Flip. number one. An avatar flipped to a new caption that says test one avatar while keeping the slide. Uh, and then later on, we did the same thing near the end. We had seven test questions, and we kept alternating the caption to keep people's interest. You can see the gaps here between when we show a slide without a software the slide group. stays steady, but then the caption it's goes moved away. To the next slide. Boom, then the slide changes. Then we wait and wait and wait on the narrator and then boom. The diagram at the, like that. So uh, that got rendered. It was a 27 minute video. So that got completed and posted and shared. Uh, we are also doing some work with the um, thing called the Shadow Sonnet, which we won't show you right now. And then as we just showed you, we experimented and identified what we feel is a good sequence here that could be used in a video. That's the actual idea. We would start with the piano clock. Jump. Does that continue? Then something or other happens, then we're ready to end everything. So now, a little tension, and then So this is an earlier composition, almost a year old at this point, and uh, we're experimenting with doing mashups with some of our work. Um, we also did a project working with a voice and a lyric, voice and a lyric, and the lyric that we came up with is this, it seems lucidity waxes and wanes, awake and asleep in dreams, and then we did three takes on that using our own voice and then began experimenting with left-right stereo separation, uh, tuning it to kind of force. There were three notes in there, G sharp, A, and G. And then we also dropped it an octave. So this is what we came up with. It seems lucidity waxes and wanes, awake and asleep in dreams. It seems lucidity waxes and wanes, awake and asleep in dreams. It seems lucidity.
lucidity waxes and wanes. So you can hear the difference there. Hear the differences. It was just one octave and it sounds like James Earl Jones or something. So that was kind of fun. And we learned in doing that how to save uh, audio effect chains and uh, things like that there. The main thing, our main compositional work is what we're calling between the lines, which is these 10 chords. And you may recall that uh, they sounded like this originally. But what we wanted to do was, again, experiment with nuances. So we put the sweep synth on there. And we had to remind ourselves why we like the sweep synthesizer. And the reason is because in this thing, which is up here called um, call attack. So the attack is how long it takes for it to come up to full volume. And if you if you take if you don't have the sweep here, it's going to hit the full volume right away. But if you put a sweep in there, it'll take uh, it takes a while to come up to full volume. And the other thing is how long uh, does it sustain? How long does it hold before it drops? So we ended up doing that in MuseScore by simply changing the, uh, the instrument patch. But then in Reaper, we discovered that we could, we learned, we began learning how to do it kind of ourselves. So if we, if we mute all these effects and things, what we're going to hear is the piano. But then we run it through, what we had to do is we had to export it as a MIDI, as a MIDI, which is these dashed lines here, and, run, and the MIDI has an effect where it can sweep it. How did we do that? Well, I'm, we're glad you asked because Here in the effects chain, what we did is we took the attack and instead of a, a basically it was a zero attack, we went at, or it went up to 1200 and the release instead of an Im immediate release went up to 800. And that's just what we talked about in our little picture. We, we made the attack take a longer time to come up to the full volume and then we held it a longer time before we allowed it to die off. So we got that working. And then just for grins, we also uh, put a reverb effect on the piano. Which gives it kind of a bell-like effect. We've discovered that before. See, without that effect, it's, it's the piano sounds like this. But when you let the reverb happen, it gives that which is kind of a bell effect. And then we let the whole thing go like this together. Then you get our net nuanced effect. So what we're going to do is play this uh, nuanced effect for you. There are we called it way between zero wave between one which are basically 27 two chord sequences that we feel like we can put together like a lego kit so here we go
And that all corresponded to this first composition, which we call between the lines zero. Now, this one, again, is divvied up into two chord pairs. And that begins here. And by putting this into Reaper, um, we anticipate doing things like being able to cut all these up into little snippets and rearrange them and find different orders to put them in, which we could also easily do here uh, for values of easily. We can take each of these you know, two bars and copy it and paste it somewhere in yet another new composition. We're just kind of going back and forth between when is it easy to copy and paste little snippets and see what they're doing here visually because here it's much easier to kind of compress the scale and, and see what's going on uh, versus here and then so each of these tools has their own strength the, the beauty of MuseScore is that you can not that one this one is that you can um, you can change instrument patches right away you can you can see what your piano notes are, and we're very, 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 very used to this. And we're just beginning, deepening our being used to. The fact that we figured out how to export the Muse score into a MIDI as well as a WAV file. See, that's what the, this is the source tracks. Uh, source tracks WAV, and these are source tracks MIDI. I don't want to say that here. And this could just say so anyway we're looking forward to working with that that ends today's stream our ideas for next time are mm, basically keep working with this stuff keep adding uh, sound vision and lyric nuances to the things we're doing going forward which really means having the new score Magic, Reaper, Vegas, and Docs all interacting. I mean, even our lyric uh, that we played for you was, uh, we created a doc for, it seems lucidity waxes and wanes, awake and asleep in dreams. And then we could imagine making a Vegas video where that lyric is overlaid to some music. Uh, continue our Between the Lines. Uh, we may or may not experiment further with the Metaverse video. Um, blah 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 which means tune in next time to see what happens uh, shout outs to Miss Cleo and Silent Lurker by the way we appreciate you do take care do come back and do keep on streaming <laughs>